Good morning, guys. Welcome to math class. Let's continue working with fractions. So today we're going to work with equivalent fractions. Equivalent on page 237. Equivalent means equal or that represent the same amount. That's what it means. Equal, equal equivalent fraction um, are fractions that name or represent the same amount. Look at this problem. Joe cut a pan of lasagna into third size pieces. Third means three. So it means this boy divide the lasagna pan, the pan is the container, into three pieces. He kept one third and gave the rest away. Joe will not eat his part, his part um, all at once. How can he cut this part into smaller equal size pieces? Draw on the model to show how Joe could cut his part of the lasagna into two equal pieces. You can rename these two equal pieces as a fractions of the original pan of lasagna. Suppose, Joe had cut the original pan of lasagna into equal pieces of this size. Alan, focus on the class, please. How many pieces will, will there be? How many pieces will there be? This one is the original, the original, um, the original pan of lasagna, and it was divided into three pieces. See, one, two, and three. But um, Joe says that he's not gonna eat all the lasagna at once, de una vez. So he's, he was thinking about how to divide the lasagna pan, how to do it. So here says that probably he can cut, um, his part into two equal pieces, okay? So two equal pieces, it's gonna be divided. Mm, well, it's one, two, three, probably here at the middle. So draw that line down, mm -hmm. like that. So if we, if we divide the lasagna pan here, how many pieces do we have now? Six. Six. Okay, so how many pieces will, will there be? Six. That's our first line. Six. What fractions of the pan is one piece? Uh -huh. So what fractions represent this? What fraction? Yesterday we learned how to write this fraction. What fractions represent this shaded part? What fraction? Remember the no, remember the numerator and denominator. Uh -huh. One, six. Because I color one part, but the whole the whole is divided into six. So the fraction is one six. What fractions of the pan is two pieces? Okay, two pieces. So I colored another piece. What is this fraction? Two six, exactly, two six. Two six, good job. Now, so it means that we can rename, we can rename one third. Originally, remember, the pan was divided into three pieces. Remember? One, two, and three. So the first part, Joe had one part. That part was this, this is this one, Joe part, this one, one, 
one out of three. So that fraction is one third. But we, we divide the same pan of pizza into six equal parts. And now we know that the same amount of lasagna is or represent two six of the of the whole two six. So we can say that one third can be renamed as two six because it, it is exactly the same. One third is this. One third is this, represented by that amount. You are not looking at the screen, Diego. Jose Enrique, I cannot see you. It is, you connected late and you are not on your share. So one, one third, which is the red part, is the same amount as two six, which is the blue part. Did you see that? Did you see that class? Yes or no? Am I alone in this class? Did you see that? Yes. This is one third yes. divided into three parts, one, two, and three. But also is two six because the same whole is divided into six pieces. It means that one third is the same as two six. Remember what I said at the beginning, equivalent fraction are fractions, are two fractions, are fractions at least two that name the same amount. So one third is this, this piece and two six is the same piece. These two fractions are equivalent, part B. Gabriel, 15 minutes late. Now, draw on the model to show how Joe could cut his part of the, of the lasagna into four equal pieces. His part, which one is um, Joe lasagna piece? Is this one, one third, just one third belongs to Joe. Just that piece. Look at the screen, please. It is, uh-huh. So, but now the problem tell us that we have to divide, we have to cut the, uh, the part of his lasagna into four equal pieces. So we have to make four part, four pieces here. So we have to, every two lines, we're gonna divide a line, line, one part, two, three, see, one, two, three, and four, four. Okay, suppose Joe had cut the original pan of lasagna into equal pieces of this size. Now, how many pieces will be there? In here, in the whole pan, how many pieces will be here? Well, 12, exactly. Now, they're gonna be 12 pieces, 12 pieces. What fractions of the pan is one piece? So let me erase this one that is colored. Just one, one piece, this one. What fraction represent that? One twelve. One twelve. One. 12, <clears throat> one twelve. What fractions of the pan is four pieces, which is um, the lasagna part that belongs to Joe. La this is Joe's lasagna's, Joe's lasagna, this one. What is the fraction that represent that? Four, four, because I color four pieces, and the whole pan is divided into 12, four 12. 
So we found another equivalent fraction. One third is equal to. What is the first equivalent fraction we found? We, the first equivalent fractions is this one that represent this blue part. What is it? The first equivalent fraction that we found here. What is this fraction? One and six. This one. But look, that is divided. But I have here two, two six. So that's the first one. Two, one third is equal to two six. And this one? What fractions represent this? Four twelve. Four twelve. Okay. So I am sure Adriana understood the topic. I am not sure about the rest because the rest of the student stay quiet. But Adriana did. Adriana did. In the fractions, it's easy to read because it's, you have to work with the color parts or with the, with the own color part. Depends on the instruction, but in this case, we are working with that color part. That's what we're working with. Finished? Yes. Let's do another exercise. Are you there, Ryan? Ryan, are you there? I finished, Miss. Okay. Hello, Ryan. Alan, did you copy? You are too relaxed in that chair. Okay. And Gabriel, what about you that you connected late? Yes or no, Gabriel? No. You are copying or you don't have the book? I'm copying. Hurry up, please. Finish, Gabriel. No. Let me know when you finish, Gabriel. Finish. Okay. We're going to work on the second part on the next page. Only that part. Sabana has two fourth jar of ribbon. Ribbon is in cinta, encaje, that's ribbon. Oh, uh, like a ribbon, like a bow, como los chonguitos que usan las niñas. Those bows are made of ribbon. 
how can you determine whether Savannah and Isabel have the same length of ribbon? Mm -hmm. So say Savannah has two fourths jar of ribbon and Isabel has three eight jar of ribbon. How can you determine whether Savannah and Isabel have the same length, el mismo largo of ribbon? The equal sign and not equal uh, to sign show whether fractions are equivalent. See, equal like this, not equal, we cross the equal sign with a line. Tell whether two fourths and three eighths are e equivalent. We have to write equal or not equal sign. Step one, shade the amount of ribbon Savannah has. How many of these boxes I have to color? How many according to the fraction indicated in the problem? Uh, two. Yes, I have to color two parts because the fraction is two fourths that belongs to Savannah. Uh -huh. In the next one, step B, how many pieces? That represent the fraction? Three, eight, three, the eight, three. Three, so I have to color three. This one represents Isabel, Isabel um, ribbon. Now look at them, how they are. The same, represent the same amount? No. No. And the red one is greater, right? Savannah has more ribbons. I finish and okay. So here we have to write a sign. What signs we have to write here? Not equal. Not equal. Exactly. It's not equal. Not equal. Done because it's not. Sabana has a greater length of ribbon. Okay, it's longer. And Isabel has a shorter amount of ribbon because we're talking about length. We are talking about length. Okay, so far is a good question. I am going to assign a homework, but not this week. You are going to have a homework next week about fractions. And um, I am going to send a worksheet, I guess. And I need you um, please print it. print it, please. If you, because sometimes you can draw. If you draw, you need to make a good drawings. If you, as you can see here, these two rectangles are equal. See, be, begins in the same part and finish in the same part too. If you are going to compare something, you need to have, um, in, in, if you are talking about fractions, you need to have the same drawing, the same model. And the model needs to be equal. What happened if I wanted to compare this one with this one? Can I compare these with this? To do this exercise, for example, says I am going to draw two rectangles. This is the first one and this is the second one. This one is a smaller, right? Yes. So I cannot compare this one. And I am telling you this because I am going to prepare the worksheet. But some of you uh, cannot print it. Some of you copy the exercises on the notebook. Yeah, I have a question. 
And it's not, and it's, it's not, it doesn't mean that it's bad. No, but if you're gonna copy the exercise about fractions in your notebook, you need to make equal drawings, not a big circle and then a small circle because you are not gonna be able to see, to compare. Si usted hace uno chico y uno grande, ¿cómo va a comparar? Si desde la entrada hay uno que es más pequeño. So you're not gonna be able to compare the fraction. Or if you compare the fractions like that, your answer is gonna be incorrect because the models are not equal, okay? So um, finish, right? For to, for this week? Yes, miss. No homework. So yes. guys, thank you for I have a thing. question. Uh-huh, what's your question? Uh, so and when we're going, then of the, of the 17 that is next week that we're gonna meet, when we get back to home, yes. we're gonna have the classes that we need. No, to because that. we're gonna be there until 11. And parents have to go and pick you up. Okay? So we're, oh, so we're not gonna have classes then when we get no. home? No, we're gonna do some fun activities. Uh, we're gonna share but time. We need, need, but we need, to we need to tell you to who's gonna go and who's not, right? Yes, are you ready to send that message to your parents? Some of you already answered. Not all of them, but I am gonna send another text today because I need, me, I need me, I will go to the, me, it's I my will mom go to already school. answered. Please. Yes, yes, it does. What, yes, Santiago? I will go to the school the next week. Are you gonna come? Yeah. Okay. I am gonna come. I already received, I already received some messages saying yes, all the messages saying no. And it, 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 there's no problem. It's not mandatory. No es obligatorio. So if you can, if your parents, if your parents can bring you to, to the school and then pick you up, excellent. Okay. Okay. Let me finish this video, please. Love you. Love you too.